All right, so new Summer at the End is uh, releasing this week and uh, on Tuesday for Global, next Tuesday. And uh, we, we got an interesting release here because uh, we have been uh, collectively now waiting and will be waiting for a character that makes the new demonic beast, the doggies, actually remotely uh, playable, like Jormungandr did for its own. And my window just violently just closed because it's so windy outside. Um, the <laughs> and is she the answer? She is not. She is not because she doesn't do anything like that. She is a demonic beast battle character, uh, specifically for OG Demon, because she's red. Uh, her passive is basically the same concept as Red Hair Liz, the green one, and. Um, it's that when all allies are a specific thing, she ranks up the whole hand. And uh, it is if all allies are different races, just like uh, Green Gaffer passive, everyone gets the rank up. And for three turns, get 30% basic stat buff and complete debuff immunity. Very interesting. Um, obviously tailored for OG Demon, because OG Demon, you need the debuff immunity. And uh, she is basically making Red Arthur pointless, and um, the other DN as well. You're basically killing two uh, musts with one ca one character. I uh, I don't like that <laughs> she has this restriction for the races because I was really liking Freyr. Freyr I think is way better. The Intruder Meliodas, right? Um, it's only um, one time the rank up. Um, I think I can, I can, I can put the chat back. Um, the it's only one time the rank up and the stab off. So I mean, if you're using her, I think now you know with this setup you're gonna end the raid in three turns. Um, but I was really liking Freyr. Freyr is way better than Intruder Meli for OG Demon. But she's he is unknown, and so is Red Galfer. So I don't know. Maybe we could use a non-Red Galfer setup. Maybe one person uses Red Galfer, the other one doesn't. And the, the person who's not using Red Galfer can use Freyr because Freyr, I I'm telling you, is better. But she also has some pretty good cards. Amplify, her first single target. Her second single target is Power Strike. Um, and they're both ranged, so you can actually do open up the second phase, right? And her ultimate is the same as the other DN, where for each buff or move, she does more damage. Um, no, no, sorry. She just increases damage of all allies. I, I got it. Listen, it's in Japanese. I haven't used that DN in so long. That DN is so outdated. Um, it, it's the um, no, AoE Power Strike is a Terry. Let's play the ultimate real quick. No audio. The game is the same one. As that, the end is the full art. People have not been uh, the happiest with this art because uh, I can actually pull up the 3D model of it. Um, the costume is okay, it's not the best thing ever, that's for sure. I think uh, on the leaks Discord, they got the 3D model for uh, both her and the new outfits. We have two new summer outfits, one for um, Bloody Elizabeth. I can actually, I can actually show that right now. It's new packs and whatever. Boss, thank you for the prime. Uh, one for Bloody Elizabeth, so now she has five weapons. And uh, one for Lolly Merlin. I don't understand why Lolly Merlin. I mean, I <laughs> they're going for every demographic, I guess. This is the uh, how the uh, the end will look like in game, basically. Uh, the banner. The banner is interesting. It has a lot of exclusive characters. It's basically just exclusive characters. Um, Red Lane, the uh, 
Valentine's one, Jenna, Zaneri, uh, Blue Derriere, Green Melascula, Blue Valenti, Green Easton, Red Hawkenoslo, Blue Hawkenoslo, Blue Roxy, uh, Red Lizhawk, Blue Merlin, a character that people have been anxiously waiting for in the banner for, and Blue Elat. Overall, I mean, it's a char it's a banner that I think a lot of people are going to be um, hesitant to, to summon on because they have so many terrible characters. But a lot of these characters are characters people don't have. This banner is interesting. I personally... I think I will be escaping on my free to play. Just because... I mean, her passive is o like OG demon only, basically. She's like red, um, green was basically, right? Her banner is interesting though. Like, so, Zaneri is still the only character that can cleanse on Hellbell Muff. Um, again, we get the costumes for them. And not much else, actually. That's pretty much the extent of the patch notes, honestly, with important stuff. Um, there's new summer artifact, artifact set. I can actually check what it is. Um, but most of these art. <laughs> can I stop getting so many artifact sets? I I swear we get a new three set or sorry five set every other week, and I can't keep up with leveling up all of them. I just can't. Um. Oh, it's actually not bad. Increases resistance of all allies by up to twenty percent. It's actually not bad. Mm. The one thing I don't like about card sets, though, is that they usually have terrible CC. Um, new login character, DN. You know, the new DN. You can use her login character. Some kind of wacky bundles. Not great. Um, so one thing they changed here from, like, character searching. You can now ch uh, choose to, like, see character... Um, rarities when you're looking for characters. Cool, I guess. Uh, they're changing one card on the air. So the, if you guys missed the latest dev notes, they said that they were thinking about nerfing the air. And what I was hoping for was that they were going to remove revive. But what they're actually doing is um, on the third phase, on the third floor, um, sorry, not revive the full heal when he drops below 20%, he, he full heals, right? I was hoping they were gonna remove that because it's the worst mechanic. Uh, actually, it's not the worst mechanic, I was gonna say it's the worst mechanic in the game, but then I remember that the dogs exist and they randomly freeze one of your characters every turn. That's the worst mechanic in the game, but th this is up there. Um, they changed the card that deletes uh, a card at random from whoever the deer attacks to uh, whenever he does attack someone, he increases his ultimate gauge. It is a nerf. Th that card was kind of strong, but honestly, I kind of used that card to my advantage because he would always target Jormungandr and I would just have Jormungandr delete, get her cards deleted, right? And then make space for other characters uh, like Brainholder, which could use, be could use cards better. But fine, I mean, not that big of a change, to be honest. Um, login bonus, some SSR pendants, some gems. What's that? 20, 35 gems, not bad. Uh, as extra, right? And then 7 SSR pendants. Um, what is this? Oh, it's It's just a login bonus, okay. World quest. Isn't the world quest just this? No. There's no pictures for it. It's just it's just world quest, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Um this thing. Then the costumes. They're Bringing back all these costumes, the other summer ones. They're bringing back these costumes, so you can uh, use the, the full set. These are mostly being given out for free. 
I hope the effects are good. I can't read. The end bingo. Bingo usually has good stuff. I like bingo. Um, you can get two SSR pendants. Epic. And then three more SSR pendants from this shitty boss that's coming back. Cool. Cool. It's almost a full UR pendant. <laughs> uh, village donation, and that's about it. Uh, obviously, Freyr is being added to the SR tickets. Um, Tarmiel, we're still waiting to be added to the SSR tickets as well. But, you know, he hasn't taken as long as Green Sour Ale took yet. It just feels like he, he has, because we're expecting him to. And Red Tarmiel is way more needed than Green Sauriel ever was. So. <laughs> um, cool. I mean, they're, they're changing the wording on Sigurd's passive. Um, but the passive is the same still. And that's about it. I mean, that's the whole passion notes. This is the end. It's interesting and all. It's going to make OG Demon faster. But we still don't have the food for it. And um, it's basically replacing. So someone needed to have Festival DM, right? And she was a pretty exclusive character. And now one person's gonna have to have Summer DM. Or you if you don't have you don't have Summer DM and you, you get invited, and the person who is inviting you also doesn't have Summer DM, he's probably gonna kick you. Uh, that's probably how it's gonna be from now on. On OG Demon, so that's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> and it, it was, you know, with the Festival at the end, but Festival at the end, I feel like, uh, is less exclusive than this DN is, because this DN will only come back in terrible banners again, while Festival at the end will be coming back in Festival banners. So, eh, okay. Well, it is what it is. Just run Arthur. One person has to run the end. I don't think you've done OG Demon yet, but the one person runs the end, one person runs Arthur. And again, it's going to be the same thing, where if one person didn't have the end, you know, you couldn't do the run. And now it's going to be, if one person doesn't have this the end, they're going to, you're, you're not doing the run. It's going to be like that. People are going to want to run this the end now, because it's going to make it so much easier. Uh, and you don't need Arthur anymore. Exactly. She's, she replaces Arthur as well. So... Watch out for that.